In this video, we are going to show you how to design a plumbing system in DDS CAT in approximately 15 minutes. In the Project Manager, select the Sanitary Discipline and in the first floor of the model. First, zoom to the lower toilet area. This is where we will start with inserting sanitary equipment such as toilets and wash basins. To do that, we select the Toilet function from the toolbox. The product database opens and we can select the first product. This dialog can be closed by clicking OK. The selected toilet is now attached to your mouse cursor and can be positioned dynamically in the model. With the snap points function activated, the midpoints and endpoints are recognized by DDS CAT and help you to position the object. Next, we insert a wash basin in the same room. Select the wash basin function in the toolbox. Select the first product and press OK. This dialog can be closed by clicking OK. In order to rotate and align the wash basin, you can activate the function Use Automatic Rotation. Press and hold the control key and move your cursor against the wall. After we've inserted the wash basin, we will open the product database once more. Right mouse click to open the context menu and select properties. Click on the triple dots button to get access to the product database. Open the subcategory double wash basin and choose the second entry in the list. Press OK to close the product database once more to also close the dot basin dialog. Position the object in the ladies enter room. Use the automatic rotation function once more to position the object against the upper wall inside this room. Before we start designing the pipe systems, we will first turn off the movement area to have a cleaner view of the room. Activate the layer wizard and press left mouse button once the movement area is highlighted. Press escape to close the function. Next, we will start modeling the pipe systems. Let's begin with the most complex one, drainage systems. Select the pipe function in the toolbox and move the cursor to the position where you would like to start the pipe and click left mouse button to confirm. First, we will define a stack pipe, which is a vertical riser that crosses the complete story from top to bottom. In the medium drop-down list, we select the type of the system. In the group drop-down list, we select wastewater and domestic water. Since we are going to design a stack pipe, we will start with a pipe size of DN100. Start the pipe from the story above. In drainage, it's important to configure the slope of pipes so that water runs in the right direction. To configure the slope, go to the tab Direction and Position. At Slope, you can activate the slope with a checkbox. DDS CAT considers a default slope of 1 to 100, which you can edit if required. Press OK to close the dialog. Another dialog opens in which you can enter the new height of the pipe since it's coming from the floor above. You can either choose a relative or absolute height, or in this case press the button Go to Floor to connect the pipe to the floor below. Next, we're going to connect the toilet and wash basins automatically to the stack pipe. Let's start with the wash basin. Select the object and open the context menu with a right mouse click. Here, select the option Automatic Connection. DDS CAT offers various possibilities to automatically connect plumbing objects to a pipe system. In this case, the most appropriate one is the option Connect to Stack in Floor. Select the Connection option and press OK. The same process can be repeated for the toilet. Select the object, right mouse click to open the context menu and select the Automatic Connection option. In this case, you should select another option, connect to stack at same height. As you can see, DDS CAT has automatically connected the wash basin and the toilet to the stack pipe. Lastly, we have to connect the double wash basin located in the room above the pipe system. To do that, we will start at the pipe coming from the wash basin and continue it to the double wash basin. Activate the pipe function and move your cursor over the 45 degree bend near the wash basin until it is highlighted. 
By clicking on the bend, it will convert to a T part and the T dialog opens. Select the option branch for the drawing direction and click OK to continue drawing the pipe. By moving the cursor into the pipe direction, the segment extends. Left mouse click to insert a bend and change the direction of the pipe. In order to easily connect the pipe to the sink, we can use helplines to create a virtual snap point. Move the mouse cursor to the center snap of the sink, open the context menu with right mouse button and select the option vertical helpline. Press escape to close the help geometry function and reactivate the pipe function. Move the pipe towards the line so that a perpendicular point is highlighted and insert a bend with a left mouse button. Move the cursor towards the sink, make sure you now have the smart snap function activated so that the connection point is recognized. Connect the pipe to the wash basin with a left mouse click. In this case, a height difference exists between the pipe and the wash basin connection. In the dialog, you can select the option vertical horizontal. Click OK to apply. DDSCAD will automatically solve the height difference. Press escape to finish the pipe function and select the function delete all help geometry to clean up the model view. DDSCAD also offers the option of showing a slope indicator. Go to the menu view to activate the slope indicator. As you can see it generates an arrow in the pipe system indicating the flow direction. If desired, you can also switch the pipe representation to single line by deactivating the 2D advanced pipe representation in the view menu. Now that we have designed the drainage system, we will start working on the cold and hot water. But first we turn off the drainage system by activating the layer wizard function. Move your mouse cursor over the pipe so that the domestic wastewater layer is highlighted. With a left mouse click you hide this layer. Now that we have cleaned up the model, we can start working on the potable water system. We will begin by inserting a boiler close to the wash basin. Start with the water heater tank boiler function in the toolbox. Select the electrical boiler subcategory and choose the first product in the list. Close the water heater dialog by pressing OK. Use the automatic rotation function to position the boiler next to the wash basin. Press and hold CTRL to align the object to the wall. Next we will draw and connect cold and hot water pipes to the objects. Activate the pipe function and position the cursor somewhere in the wall behind the objects and start from the floor above. Select the medium domestic water and cold water from the drop down list. Change the pipe size to DN15 and select the option Start from Story Above. After pressing OK, DDS asks for a new height. In the Absolute Height field we insert a new height of 1.2 meters and press OK. Draw the pipe towards the boiler and insert a bend behind the boiler with a left mouse click. Next, move the cursor to the boiler and connect it to the cold water connection point. Important to remember is that Smart Snap must be activated in order to recognize connection points on objects. In this case, you can select the vertical horizontal connection option. We are now going to connect the pipe automatically to the wash basin. Select the object and open the context menu with a right mouse click. Select the Automatic Connection option. The Automatic Connection dialog provides multiple options for a potable water connection. Since the pipe is over the sink and inside the wall, the option Pipes in Ceiling Inside Wall is the most appropriate one to select in this case. Next, we are going to start with the hot water pipe from the sink and connect it to the boiler. As the pipe function is the latest used function, it can be repeated from the context menu. Move the mouse cursor to the back of the sink. Here we find an available hot water connection. Press left mouse button once it is highlighted. Select the available pipe from the product database and click OK. 
Sometimes automatic snap points are not practical. We can make use of shortcuts on our keyboard to turn them off temporarily. Move the cursor into the left direction so that it creates a small segment of pipe behind the sink and insert a bend with a left click. Now move the pipe towards the boiler. As you can see we turn off the smart snap function by pressing free on our keyboard. With a left mouse click we create a bend first and then turn the smart snap function on again to connect the pipe to the boiler. Again, in this case, the option horizontal vertical is the right option to select. Close the function by pressing escape. To conclude our modeling, we will draw a cold water pipe from the toilet. Repeat the pipe function and move the cursor to the left side of the toilet until the cold water connection is recognized. Make sure that the smart snap function is activated. Select the pipe from the product database and press OK. Route the pipe to the left inside the wall until you get at a shaft. At this position we will end the pipe in the story above. Press escape to close the function. Now that the plumbing system is completed, we are going to copy the entire system to the floor below. First, open the layer display to get access to a complete list of active layers in the model. Turn on the domestic wastewater with a left mouse click in the On column. Click on the type drop down list and select Architect. Select the first layer at the top of the list, press and hold Shift and select the last layer at the bottom of the list. Click in the column Lock. By doing so, all building layers are locked and cannot be selected. Now make a selection window and include all the plumbing objects by a free reference point. This option allows you to set a specific reference point that can be used to paste the objects in the story below. In this case we take this room corner since we have the same room corner in the floor below. Open the project manager, select the ground floor in the sanitary discipline and press open. Open the context menu, select the paste copied option and click on the same reference point which was selected in the floor above. Press escape to close the function. The last thing we still have to do is to connect the cold water system between the two floors. To do so, open the first floor in 3D view via the Explorer. The 3D camera view shows the model in wireframe by default. Activate the pipe function and move your cursor to the cold water bend to convert it to a T. In this case we should select a head as the drawing direction. To connect this pipe to the floor below, click on the go to floor button. The same tab steps can be repeated for the other cold water system. Click on the bend to convert it to a T. And here select branch as the drawing direction. Click on the go to floor button to connect the pipe to the floor below. Press escape to close the function. Let's now visualize the complete model in 3D. First we make the floor below visible by ghosting the respective story. Click on the Import and Model Manager and select the tab Ghost Story Discipline. Click on the eye icon to make the floor below visible in the current model and press OK. In addition, we can visualize only the sanitary systems. Open the Layer Display and select the PipeNet option from the Layer Setup drop-down list. Finally, switch to the render mode to get access to the different render options. Activate one of the specific render modes to visualize the model. Here you have a clear view on what we have achieved with DDS CAD within 15 minutes. A quick and easy plumbing system across two floors.